When you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm oppressed? Father and radio host Ty Smith rages against critical race theory at Illinois school board meeting and the man's nonsense is dropped. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and share it with someone you think would like this content. So we have 309 subscribers and I want to say thank you to all those people but we got to get to 1,000 subscribers in the next 95 videos. If we don't get to 1,000 subscribers in the next 95 videos, I'm shutting down the channel. Also, I think I'm going to use the computer voice 100% of the time because I just get too much hate from the haters about it. Anyway, sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Today's video is of Ty Smith, a conservative talk radio host, speaking at a June 7th school board session in Bloomington, Illinois. When you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all I can say. It's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids this white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to personally tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? How do I get, first of all, time up, because I only got five minutes now, five minutes. Two medical degrees. No mom, no dad in the house. Work my way through college. Sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You're going to tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? Not one white person ever came to me and said, well, son, you're never going to be able to get nowhere because you know the black people. But guess what? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't going to be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't going to let you get no. Oh, you know you're not going to be able to do it here because you know, the, white, the, the white man, the white man going to keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? What, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie of critical race theory? Of this, this, this the reason why black folks can't get ahead because of white folks? Are you kidding me? This is what we come to now. I can't believe we even talking about this right now. The last thing I'm gonna say right here is something that's crazy. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their what? Yeah. Their character, not their skin. If they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February comes, don't talk about Martin Luther King. When February comes, don't talk about black history. Mother dog will sit there and just pee much pee on his grave with this nonsense. That's exactly what's about to happen. Lastly, we are talking about our kids. We are talking about our children. What's so sickening about me? I love the Discovery Channel. You will see that on the Discovery Channel, animals will put their lives on the line to protect their children from yeah. danger. Nobody want to get to the heart of the matter, get to the meat of the matter, get to the moral of the story. It all comes down to it. The person that's going to be suffering from this, the one that's going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, if this stuff goes on, whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing stuff since I was 18 years old, talking to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die, I'm going to be the very person right there debunking stuff, tearing stuff down, letting them know they can do exactly what I did and get exactly where I am by putting themselves to work and getting there. And ain't not one white person ever going to keep any of them from getting there. So the CRT stuff, BS. In my opinion, this guy is exactly right. Teaching this is going against what activists like Martin Luther King Jr. fought against. This CRT is just going to demoralize everyone involved. So more division and more hate among people. They should come up with a theory that teaches people how to judge people based on their actions and teach people how to look past skin color and other prejudice we might have towards one another. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.